right, so here is the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Another fight here tonight. His first two UFC wins took less than two minutes combined. The majority of Duho Choi's wins have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can rack up another one here tonight. Effective use of the jab to the body there by Choi. Good jab. Unable to connect there. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Good punch lands. Just out of range with that right hook. Now hits him with the left. One, two, high kick, go! That was nice and right. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep that pressure on down. Swing and a miss with that punch by Short. Yeah, yeah. Those are big strikes. Punch got blocked there. Yeah, left hook found its target. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. That left hook was crazy. All right, let's go. Pick that right hand up. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. And blocks that hard punch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. And then he throws it over here. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, connects with the one-two. Put your hands up higher. Come on. The Korean Superboy gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Out of range with that one. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Leg kick checked effectively there by Choice. There's a kick. Oh, nasty elbow there. Outstanding need the body there. He's the taller fighter. He might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so, though. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Nice left hand. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Now a kick to the body. Under a minute to go. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Choice shot there is blocked. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Choi. Fifteen seconds. Connected with a solid punch right there.
Come Round two on. straight ahead. Let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round on the way. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the center I mean, line. it was defensive brilliant. Yes. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fighting. Nice straight there by Choice. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Leg kick lands. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. He's sticking over and over again. He's got his head popped back. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good shot, good shot. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Misses with the right hand. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Nice one-two combination there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. He's under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking up, it's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh! Under a minute now to go in the round. Big shot lands for both guys. Beautiful jab lands. Oh, 
He's worked Stop, out. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. And that spinning kicked out of Tom up top. All right. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Great setup. That was a nasty high kick. Circling towards the left now. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. Just misses with the straight right. Choi's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Good combination. Choi's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. He missed with that jab attempt there. Clean punch. And now leather being thrown on both sides. And a miss with the right hook. All right, there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Good punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. The reach advantage has proven so beneficial. Another punch lands. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Just out of range with that left hook. Work with that jab, jab lands. 
time. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Nice jab. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Beautiful left hand punch. Under 20 seconds now to go. Final seconds here. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Let's get back out here and work on All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Hook lands. Oh man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Lands a jab. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Fast leg kick lands. Fighter lands a left punch now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Back out of there. Back out of there well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective. What a nasty fight knee. Both guys appeared to land there. Nice leg kick. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Heavy kick downstairs. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Nice jab. Well, 
missed on that one. Under two minutes here to go round four. Joy gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, uppercut. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seems like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Defensively responsible, nice block. out and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defense. over the top and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Big right hand there. Lands a good combination. Under a minute to go. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Oh, nice. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Choi shot his block. He's in trouble. Oh, big knee to the body. Big right hand there. 20 seconds left. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight. And I think at some point the referee is going to intervene here. This he hasn't been able to change it. We're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. round is underway here and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the card. You can tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. <laughs> nice body shot. He does everything so well. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I'd be the same. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh! Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Back and forth we go. Nice front kick. Let it go now. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. There it is. Big right hand. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh, oh that's a big right hand that got through. Working 
off the jab, it's good. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Oh, yeah. Under two minutes now with which to work. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. How clean is that jab by the Korean Super Bowl? Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. As you watch, he's crying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not. Oh, huge right hand! What a last minute! Whiffs on that offering. That's a good right hand right there. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slight lean to the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. For the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed USC heavyweight champion.